And we're back here in Dark Souls Remastered. We are just at the start of the New Londo Ruins. The dark and spooky, waterlogged, foggy New Londo Ruins. We've just dispatched the crestfallen knight who had gone hollow. He didn't actually say anything to us as he attacked us, which I thought was very strange. I thought he actually yelled something at us as he tried to attack us. Uh, we got this guy here. I feel like there might be some items around here somewhere. But I might be wrong about that. So we are going to encounter some brand new stuff in this area. As if we hadn't encountered enough new things. We are still finding new things. Weakness. Curses. We've actually gotten some hints about this area from various merchants. I think the, uh, what's his name? Dom, Damal from Xena. He actually gave us a big hint about the Nulando ruins, I think. Pretty sure some other people have said things. There's an item off to our right. This water will kill us if we fall into it. So we need to not do that. Um, okay, before I run out there and uh, get myself killed, let me make sure I have the right things I need on my bar. And those things are transient curses. So we got heal, wrath of the gods, homeward heal. Okay, we're fine. I'm using my divine mace. I also have my fury sword. I don't know which one of these is going to work better or worse. Ah, oh, I see somebody approaching us. I see two people approaching us. So I'm going to show you first what happens when you do not use a transient curse. And what happens is you can't hit these ghosts, and yet they can hit you repeatedly. So, um... I'm actually going to uh, untarget these guys and run away a little bit. Drink a flask. I'm not sure how far out here they go. Now I'm going to use a transient curse. Which sets me to like a cursed state. You can see I'm kind of glowing and sparkly there. Now we're going to run up here and see if uh, we can have a rematch with these ghosts. Boom. Now we can hit them. Oh, okay. This mace is doing pretty good. Okay. The mace is doing well. I will keep the mace. Uh, now... We are going to look around a bit. I think there's an item that we want to get near here. If I can remember where it is. Make sure nobody's sneaking up behind us. I believe it is right here. There's a little walkway. Oh, God. There's also a ghost there. <laughs> we need to be wary of that. Oh, I got hit. They they can still hit you. Drink flask. Target. Look out. Look out. Look out. Heavy hit. Missed completely. Get closer. Oh, yeah. That rocked. That is a Divine Mace plus eight, I think. So we do need to be very careful because one step on either side and we are dead. Firekeeper Soul. That's what I wanted. So at some point we're going to go back to Firelink Shrine. And hopefully we are going to remember to give that to the Firekeeper down there. It is pretty much inevitable that we will go back to Firelink Shrine. Because that is the nearest bonfire. If I'm not mistaken, there is no other bonfire in this area. So, all... Running... Item ahead. Really? 
Really? I don't believe that. We can't go that way. Maybe, is this it? Ah, there is an item. Oh, two more transient curses. Awesome. Okay. So we should have enough for a while. We need to make sure that we notice when our transient curse runs out. Because it is a major bummer to run out of a transient curse in the middle of this place. And just another reminder, we are going slow. We are methodically going through this region. For a number of reasons. Number one, that this is supposed to be a series of videos touring the game. Uh, the other reason is that I don't really remember it very well. And I didn't look anything up. Oh, let's take care of this ghost. I am very pleased with how this mace is working right now. That was a miss. Oh, I got him. Okay. I really did not expect this mace to work so well. Let me try the sword just to make sure it's... Maybe, maybe that's normal damage. But I don't... I feel like I'm doing very well with that mace. I'm not sure. That's a divine mace. Plus eight. There's a white fog doorway out there. It is very dark in this region. I'm sure you can see that. I can... On my screen, I can see those, uh, those ruins in the background there. They're kind of dark and shadowy, but I can see them. I can actually see all the way back to the far wall. Oh, I see a... thought I saw a ghost up there. Yeah, there's a ghost right over my head. I remember that now. There's some player ghosts walking around. So I think we're about to run into a trap here. Lying in ambush ahead. Hey, there's there's a ghost right there. So we're gonna try, we're still, we still got our transient curse. Come back, come back, I wanna try my sword. Uh, she's trying to lure me in there. I'm assuming these are female ghosts. They look like females, I don't know. They can actually go through walls too, by the way. Run out. Oh, that actually worked pretty well, too. So... So it doesn't really seem to matter which weapon I use. Um, I've actually just now remembered that I meant to put on... a covetous gold serpent ring, and I should have been paying attention because there's another ghost right in my face. We gotta back away. Try this sword again. Okay, we, uh, our curse has run out, so we need to, uh, back away. <laughs> and that is a great example of what happens when your transient curse runs out in the middle of a fight. And we're actually gonna run through these things pretty fast at this rate. Alright, come back here, ghost. This room is actually filled with ghosts. Oh, they're coming up from the floor. They, yeah, they, they go through walls and floors and ceilings and everything. All right, we got her. Yeah, this is a, this is a scary room, I think. You can see a lot of bloodstains there. Oh, hello, one behind me. I'm having trouble with my camera here. Okay, there we go. I'm situated now. Oh, no, no, no. I keep getting grabbed. I'm trying to hit my buttons to get out of these. Drink a flask. No, no, no. Okay. There's a lever here. I'm not going to pull this lever just yet. Um, I actually think if I roll over this, it will actually bring up another one. Oh, uh, maybe not. Maybe it's this one. I feel like somewhere there's some barrels that will uh, actually spawn more monsters. A lot of people died here. Um, you know, maybe I will... Although, I feel like this is going to be locked. Yeah, contraption does not move. 
So that, I think, is an elevator that we're going to unlock later. So there's that white fog doorway. That is not a boss. It's just the next area. Ten minutes. Okay, we're doing good. We're just making our way through here. Let's check some bloodstains. All of these people are probably fighting ghosts. I'm going to go back to my mace. I like the mace. Going down the spiral staircase. Wary of traps, because I feel like there are some traps. Tricks and traps around here. What does that say? Be wary of ghost. My curse level is fine. Okay, so we can go forward or to the right. Let's go to the right first, because there's no messages here. So that seems less scary to me. <laughs> I bet all of those messages are like, Turn back now before it's too late. Um... I, yeah, I kind of feel like my mace is doing better damage. Tough enemy ahead. Um, yes, I think that is actually true. Ah, I see them. I see red eyes on that tough enemy. It's my souls. I got 20,000 souls. Um... I'm just going to go for this. Eh, that wasn't so tough. <laughs> transient curse. More transient curses. They are scattered around here. You know, I kind of thought she might actually drop something, but... Uh, what is my, my item discovery level? It was only 300. I kind of feel like maybe I will, uh, use another... Nah, I'm not going to do that. I was thinking about using another humanity while I'm... Yeah, I'm just going to do it. That'll raise my item discovery. Since I'm human anyway, I might as well get the best possible chance for drops. I'm looking for, uh, transient curse drops. And I'm also looking for uh, dagger drops. There's a there's a particular kind of dagger that these guys drop. Be wary of ghost. I can't. I don't like it how when the message is visible, I can't use my buttons. Be wary of left. Okay, so we're gonna. Yep, yep, yep. I remember. Come on out. Trying to grab me. Come out. Come out. Oh, I missed. Oh, no, 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 no. I lost my thing. That's such inconvenient timing when that happens. No, I got grabbed. And it knocks you down and can't get up. Take that. So one hit. From a two-handed weapon there is all it takes. Let's, uh, let's actually use our heal spell instead of wasting all of our Estus flasks. That's the whole reason that we are a cleric. I think that's all we need, right? Parrying dagger. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a cool weapon. I mean, it's, I mean, it's cool if you like doing parries, which I am not very good at. So, the whole area is flooded. We can sort of barely see down there. There's water flooding that whole area. Uh, there's a staircase that leads down into that water, or perhaps out of that water. There is a chest over there. Does not appear that we can get to that place. You know, I'm actually kind of wondering if the, uh... The sunlight maggot will give me a little extra light. Of course, it's at the very bottom of the list, and I went completely the wrong way. It's, I mean, it's a little better, I guess. 
What's our time? 15 minutes. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is as far as we can go there. Yeah, there's stairs down there. We can't go around that way. That was a dead end, so the only place we have to go is through the white fog. That was my dog, by, by the way. So here we are. Make sure our curse is active. The transient curse. There's a ghost up there. There's a ladder there. Can we... Yes, we can kick this ladder. Haha, <laughs> that makes a shortcut for us. Um, I feel like I want to deal with this ghost before I do anything. Oh, yep, yep, yep. I knew that. Had my shield up, so I was prepared. One shot. One heavy swing. Goodbye, ghost. Large soul of a nameless soldier. I don't think I have ever had this little trouble with the ghosts before. This might actually be the first time I've ever gone to the New Londo Ruins last. Uh, can I carefully... There's no place to go there. Um, I feel like this is actually a... Uh, kicking down that ladder, I feel like that opened up a shortcut. Man, do you have to you have to jump over to do that? Really? Is that true? Or maybe you have to jump down. I think you have to jump down. Like you yeah, you go up the stairs. That right there is where we came in. That's the entrance way. So if you go up the stairs and I think you can kind of jump down to here and then you can get to this ladder. Uh, yeah, over here there's going to be a bunch of ghosts. Whoa, did, 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 get out of that. Ooh, whew, I hit them, fortunately. Oh, we got a drop. Transient curse, yay. That's why we're wearing the gold covetous ring. Got another one. I'm sure there are more. Or maybe not. Uh, where does this go? Does this go anywhere? Ghosts? It goes nowhere. There's nothing here. Oh, there's an item over there. We can't get to that, though. There's an item up there. Oh, there's a person up there. We need to go talk to that guy eventually. He's standing there when, in his red crimson robes. So we'll get to him in one or two videos. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here. I feel like there was something here that I'm missing, but um, maybe not. Uh, that looks risky. I've, I feel like I've fallen down here before. Okay. I guess there's nothing here. I guess the whole purpose of that ladder is just to open up the shortcut. For running back to the boss. Way at the end of this place is the Four Kings boss. Okay, what does this message say? Be wary of up. Yeah, I, I noticed that already. Um, so we went that way. So this is the way forward right here. I'm really, I'm not sure if this helmet is helping me any. Let's go back to the, uh, paladin helm, I guess. Yeah. I don't, I don't like that glaring light in the middle of my screen. <laughs> Just looking around, I know, whoop, whoop, our transient curse has run out, so we're going to use another one. Always have to remember to check that. Because I feel like we are about to run into some ghosts. I don't see any of the ghosts. I thought there were ghosts here. Gorgeous view ahead. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I can't, I can't use any of my weapons or anything while I'm, while the message is visible. 
That's kind of annoying. Okay, so I think this is kind of a dangerous area here, if I remember right. Be wary of right, I bet it says. Try amazing item? Uh, what? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Beating to a pulp ahead, okay. Yeah, I feel like, uh... I'm not sure why I'm not being attacked by ghosts here. I would have sworn that there was a big swarm of ghosts around here. Very... Okay, I hear something. I'm going to back away. There. Oh! Oh, oh, they almost got me. Trying to come through the walls. <laughs> I see you guys. So I have to be careful about my targeting here. So I don't throw myself off the edge. I'm just going to use light attacks. Woo, close. Okay, let's heal. Oh, I'm out of time here. I should, uh, I should back up here and stop this video. All right, so I'm going to come back up here to a place of relative safety. I swear, I thought there were like three ghosts that came out of that wall. I'm Maybe I'm misremembering. All right, so I will stop here and I will pick it up from this exact spot next time. See you later.